This is the Baja Drift Edition, baby. This does have a brushless system and it does have a two speed. So let's see what it is. I've been doing a lot of testing on this. So this is not an actual review video. This is just me, you know, chilling a little bit. RC MK engine, brand new, super fake eBay 990 Walbro Carve. I don't care, it runs. I'm gonna show you that it runs. And yeah, this finally has a kill switch. So before you tell me, bro, where your kill switch? It, it's got one. Ugh. It's a good thing Red Cat Rick does some weightlifting because these fit scales, they're not light. Am I recording? Yeah, that's good. Gonna give it a prime. I noticed I have to prime this primer bulb like about 15 times for actually to start well. And yeah, this 990 does not have a choke. That is probably the reason why, but who cares? It's gonna start off. I'm missing the spark plug cover just because I was doing maintenance. I do have it, I will get it eventually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right. It should fire up on maybe the first or second pull. One, yep. Finally, something that works. crazy I'm basically just you know running a tank of fuel through this car to see whether in fact it is an actual piece of shit and what people say about getting original wall bro carbs is uh, not total nonsense so far I'm actually happy with the performance of this thing oh. This is the Baja Drift Edition, baby! Whoa! It's okay, not front brakes, we got the disc! Check out the kill switch, guys! Kill switch works, third channel! Finally, I got myself a fit scale with a kill switch! Amazing! All right, yeah, so you heard that. I mean, it returned back to idle quite well. I don't know what the big issue with these fake, you know, $12 eBay Walbro knockoff carbs are. I've experienced absolutely zero issues with it so far. You saw how it started, no choke, nothing. So what's the big deal, guys? Just let me know, $12, you know, what are you gonna do? And it came with like a fuel line and a bunch of everything else that, uh, you know, sometimes need. All right, I'm gonna turn it back on. Gotta engage the kill switch to, you know, not actually be cutting spark to the plug and it should start up. Okay. It should start up on the first pull now. That's right, baby. I like this thing. By the way, I have not tuned it for high speed at all. I haven't even done high speed passes with this yet. This is just me playing around, you know, chilling. We're not at full throttle. I'm basically like at half throttle when I was just doing. Man, RCMK is kicking some ass out here.
Yep, it works. Make sure you test your kill switch. You know, I had an accident before. That's why you haven't seen the Red Cat Riley Rampage, guys. And by the way, why am I yelling again? I keep yelling in all my videos. You know why? It's because I don't do any BS and I don't constantly run electrics. I run real gas, real nitro, real internal combustion engines. I know my friend Boater Gel and Nitro Mike would agree with me. So sometimes, guys, we gotta yell. Guess what? If I forget to lower the audio output of this video, just lower the audio on your TV. In case you want to see how fast this was, keep in mind I haven't even tuned the high speed needle. I've basically only stuck to tuning the low speed needle to make sure the RPMs are good. This is just, you know, however I felt like putting it. And guys, that was 42 miles an hour. Really, really fast. I know my uh, 30cc Robin with the much taller tires topped out at 44 miles an hour. So if I put those larger tires on here, this might actually be the first fit scale RC I own that will hit 50. If you guys want to see me do that in the future, I will. But oh man, I just noticed. Look at this. We have what looks like an exhaust leak. It looks like somebody tried to make an exhaust gasket here, but clearly it's not working. Maybe they were missing the actual gasket. I don't know. But this is something we'll investigate later. This thing runs great so far. The $12 eBay fake wall bro carb uh, seems to be doing its job. Let's take a little bit of a vintage electric break. If you guys have been following me on my Instagram, same username as my YouTube account, you would know I've been doing a little bit of work on this vintage 3906 Traxxas Emax. This is the one that originally came with the twin 550 Titan motors, the EVX ESC that ran up to a maximum of 16.8 volts. This is an original Traxxas Emax body, but we are only running a regular 2S LiPo. The system in this thing right now, I'm not gonna show you guys, we're just doing a little bit of a, a drive right now. Originally, this system ran off of a maximum of 16.8 volts. That is a lot of volts and it's famous for being one of the only electric RCs with a shift on the fly two-speed transmission. So it's got a high and low. There's a servo here that turns on the high or low gear. Right now we are in low gear. I'll show you guys what the second gear is like. And this is an old hobby wing easy run system. These were actually quite cool and cheap back in the day. These were some of the first brochure systems to come out. I remember Jang from URC tested a couple of the leopard hobby ones, maybe even did a hobby wing. But I'll tell you right now, I tried a 3S and the original Traxxas servos that this thing currently has, they do not run off of the 3S voltage. So I don't know what's going on this is still the stock am radio system you know because i really like this toggle switch for the reverse i could get a regular th third channel operated one but you can't beat the freaking toggle look at that guys you guys see what's going on as i operate the toggle that's right low high gear so right now we're in low this is a diff so yeah, it goes without saying, this is an Emax, an original one, and of course it's got diff problems. This diff was included in a bag of trashy parts the owner originally gave me, and the rear diff, you're gonna hear it, it's, it's pretty much stripped, but it's still got some power going in the back. Now, in terms of speed, we'll see whether we can get over 30 miles an hour. This model originally was claimed to hit a top speed of 30 miles per hour by Traxxas, of course running 16.8 volts. We're only running a 2S LiPo, so we're at 7.4, figure eight volts, you know, when charged or so. And of course with optional gearing. I'm not sure what the gearing is right now, but this does have a brushless system and it does have a two speed. So let's see what it is. Okay, we're gonna start out in first gear because I feel like it. Yeah, the diff is definitely stripped. You can hear it, it's not getting any power. So this is first gear. We're gonna see what it is. I'm gonna come back in first gear. This is top speed first gear. Brakes are really good on this ESC. All right, let's see what we got, guys. We got 25 just in first gear. I'm gonna clear it. And now, you could shift when you're driving, you could shift whenever, but I'm gonna shift right now. Okay, so yeah, it's in high gear now. Yeah, I can, I can see the rear wheels are slipping. Okay, gonna go all the way here. Feels pretty fast. 
No signal loss with this giant antenna. AM, you know, but hey, I like it. Let's come back. Zoom in. All right, let me make my way back. Take your guess, what do you guys think? I'm only trying to hit over 30 on this, keep in mind, you know, to beat the Traxxas estimates. What do we got? Not bad at all, we got 32 miles an hour. So I already beat the Traxxas estimate and I was only running a small 2S LiPo. So once I get more power in this, once I fix the rear diff, I think this could be a contender for probably 50. Keep in mind, this is a 20 year old vintage RC but it still got a lot of life left in it. It looks sharp. I love this green style body. You know, it's got these Proline Road Rage wheels. Of course, there's a lot that needs to be addressed and worked on. Don't think that every used RC I get is just great. You know, there's a lot. We're gonna cover this RC in a future video. Just so you guys know, this is one of the most collectible electric Traxxas models I think that are currently around. And prices for these on eBay, are more or less skyrocketing on eBay as you're watching this video. It works. Oh yeah, kill switch works. That's right, baby. There's a lot of noise, guys. I'm trying to get my pizza on. There's like a convoy of tow trucks. And uh, I don't know what tow trucks have to do with heroes or whatever. A lot of different lights on trucks for whatever reason. Don't know why. Look at that. Oh, thank God. The noise is over. The noise is over, guys. I can finally go get my dominoes. I'm doing like this curbside pickup right over there so i have to stand outside here like an idiot but it's okay the prius is comfy and guess what this is not a waste of time i'm actually going to be editing my video in the car right now just to make sure you guys didn't think i was lying we got ourselves a pizza and check out what's inside that's right my new video being edited right now this is going to be the rc pizza and edit let's look at it Oh yeah, chicken and some pepper. Perfect Domino's pizza, $7.99 guys. Let's see, do I have anything incriminating open up in my uh, computer? No, no, I bet you were looking, I got you.